space weather this week is calming down from the last couple weeks of really strong activity. As we take a look at our Earth-facing disk, we do have a couple coronal holes that have been rotating in through the Earth strike zone. They've been sending us a little bit of fast wind, but it's been reasonably underwhelming, and things are going to calm down over the next couple days and likely go back to quiet conditions. So aurora photographers are definitely going to have to wait a little while for some new chances for aurora. But the big story really are all the active regions in Earth view. In fact, regions 3190 and 3192, they are the only big flare players left on the disk. They are now rotating to the sun's far side, but not before both of them put on a beautiful show. We had region 3192 fire some kind of slingshot kind of uh, solar storm launch. It's not earth directed, but it was fun eye candy. And then just as it's about to leave the, the west limb, wham! 30, region 3190 fires off a big uh, M4.6 flare. This was a large solar flare and it actually did launch a solar storm but again not earth directed but we are definitely going to be keeping our eyes on this region as it transits the sun's far side because there's a good chance that this region will return and give us some more activity in about a, a two weeks or so meanwhile after that we don't have a lot going on when we look at the sun's uh, east limb there's not a lot of activity not a lot of solar storms and it does look like the flare intensity is going to die down a bit plus solar flux is going to continue to ramp down. So goodness gracious, we have a breather that's going to last for easily the next couple weeks, especially when we take a look at the sun's far side. This is stereo A, and we're looking at the sun just a tiny bit from the side. And you can see as we look past the two coronal holes, those are rotating through the sun's strike zone right now. We are looking at the sun's uh, east limb, and we don't see a lot of activity, not even any solar storms being launched. In fact, it may be another week or so before we even get get any big uh, active regions back in Earth view. So it looks like for GPS users and amateur radio operators and for Aurora photographers, things are going to calm down. For more details on this week's space weather, including how the recent activity might affect you, come check out my channel or see me at spaceweatherwoman.com.